Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another tutorial. Now today we're going to be looking at another quite difficult level that's right at the end of the game, Rainbow Ride. Um, it's very easy to die in this level and I know it gives a lot of new players a lot of trouble, myself included. So I wanted to share my tutorial and basically the tips and tricks I do to get through this stage. Once again, star order is quite important in this stage. We want to make sure we get cruiser before we get red coins or any other star. That way if we fall from the top we can easily get a quick star. And the same with tricky triangles. We want to make sure we get tricky triangles before swinging in the breeze. That way if you fall down you can collect uh, swinging in the breeze much quicker than having to collect tricky triangles again. So first up we will go through cruiser. So when you start this level you immediately want to press C right and C down so Mario is facing this position. So what I like to do here is to do little taps of the A button for Mario's single and double jumps. And the goal is to complete your triple jump around where this black spot is, just above Mario's head. That's where you sort of want to finish your jump. So what I like to do is to hold forward when I'm doing this triple jump but sort of slowly move Mario to the right so that he finishes the triple jump on that little black spot. Um, so yeah, you always want Mario to be facing straight forward, but then you want to sort of lean him to the right as you do your jumps. So you'll see I'm moving the stick very slightly as I do the triple jump. And then once you make the triple jump, you want to hold up left when you do your wall kick so that Mario lands on this spinning platform up here. Another way to do this trick is if you do a buffered jump kick which is when you hold A when the level is loading and then press B immediately. So like that. So you can do this instead of a normal triple jump at the start of the level. It comes down to preference really, I prefer the other method. But yeah, if you want to try this you just have to make sure you're holding A when the level starts and then press B as soon as Mario hits the ground. It is still tricky, this movement, um, especially when you're doing really well in a run and the pressure's getting to you. I have missed this trick many a time during a run, especially when I'm on good pace, and I'm sure other runners have as well, so... Don't be too hard on yourself if you mess it up. So once we get up here, we want to immediately long jump down here, then a couple of dives, change the camera, and then you'll know how to do this bit, it's just basic wall kicks. Dive when you get up here. Now this movement's kind of tricky, you kind of want to position Mario so that he's straight on and near the edge here. And then when you do the wall kick, you kind of want to bounce off the wall and press right on the stick almost immediately. And Mario will make the, uh, the grab at the top. If you're really struggling, you can just walk up slowly like this. Then do the long jump up here. And then when you get up here, you want to side flip around where this plank starts. And the key here is to try and do the wall jump when Mario's at the peak of his height. And obviously keep holding right on the stick or he won't make it. And when you get up here, you want to jump and make sure you grab the ledge here or else the trick is very hard to complete. So you want to grab the ledge here and then press A to do the quick get up. And then for the long jump here, I like to do the long jump just after Mario gets the one up. But yeah, the time is kind of weird here. It sort of feels like it's just after he um, collects the mushroom around there. So you definitely want to do this a couple of times and get feel for it. It's one of those tricks that it's kind of based on feel. 
And then when you get here, simply side flip up here, long jump, and then jump into the star. So when we get up here, we want to long jump over here and then move the camera so it's facing this angle. And then we want to perform a triple jump where Mario finishes the triple jump on this box here. So that this is where you, you want to do your final triple jump. You'll notice when I do the triple jump, I'll sort of hold neutral on the stick just for a split second, just so that Mario doesn't lose some of his speed and he doesn't crash into this wall. So you'll see it just as I do the triple jump there. And then when you do the wall kick, you just want to hold straight left so that Mario hits the uh, hits the wall and can grab up. And then when you get down here, you just want to side flip up here. And then this side flip can be tricky. I kind of prefer if Mario runs at an angle than if he's running straight on. Oops. Because yeah, if he's running straight on, you don't have much room to work with and it's quite difficult to do the side flip. So I prefer to sort of move Mario like that, if that makes sense. And it makes the uh, the side flip wall kick a bit easier. So when you get down here, you want a single jump down here and then triple jump like this. And the key when you do this triple jump is that you immediately press A and right so that Mario does that wall kick. And then you sort of want to hold left a bit on the stick when he's falling and he'll collect the coin like that. Again, if you mess this movement up a little bit, like with the wall kicks, it's not going to do too much. He's just going to fall down here and get damaged a bit. So it's not too big a deal. So when you get down here, you just want to dodge the fire, get the coin, jump, kick backwards, grab the coin, and then you simply just jump dive into it. Pretty simple. So once you get up here, you want to do a single jump, change the camera twice, and then long jump, and then long jump again. You want to land it so that Mario is pushing right up against this. You want to complete the first long jump about here, and then do another one straight away, and you'll make it. it takes a bit of practice to get this timing down, but it's not too hard. So you're going to do a single jump, slide down here, and then a double jump immediately, and then roll onto the switch, quickly jump up here, then do a double jump, side flip, dive, then jump dive. So when you start this trick you want to run forward a little bit and long jump straight forward and then you want to do a long jump on that little edge, jump on the lift and then I like to do a triple jump here, jump dive roll out so that you make it here and then you want to side flip wall kick up here and then this is the trickiest part you need to do a triple jump on this little fire thing. So around this area where he's standing, it's where I like to finish the triple jump, or else he won't have enough height. See, he didn't quite make it there. 
it's definitely another one you need to get a feel for. But the important thing is having the camera facing this angle and then Mario facing straight forward. So yeah, you want to hit your triple jump just as Mario reaches the top of this pyramid triangle thing. And then once you get up here, just jump ground pound to get the star. Not too bad. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Rainbow Ride is definitely a tricky level that has killed many runs for me in the past. Too many to count. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a level you want to practice a fair bit. Um, and you should feel a lot more comfortable when you get to that part of the run. So if you enjoyed the tutorial, please feel free to like, subscribe, check me out on Twitch. And yeah, feel free to suggest any more tutorials to me and I will try and get around to it. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in a bit.